Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and welcome to another episode of Learn UAP in 5 minutes. Today we'll talk about strings and how we compare strings very fast. You have on uh, on my YouTube channel a detailed, uh, detailed movie about strings, but today we'll, uh, we'll cover uh, the comparison stuff. So let's say that I have, we have two strings here. So I have test to APAT and this test to APAT. So you can do the comparison like this and it will be wrong. But uh, inside of the strings, you have the, uh, the functions, yeah? So basically, to compare strings well, it's better to use this equal uh, this equal function. But if you see, if you compare these two strings, the the result will be also uh, uh, false. There are different strings. Yeah. So to be able, because the the message is the same, the same message is the same thing. Uh, test to APAT. So to be able to do this, first I will say that I will put all the uh, the characters from a string to lower to upper. Yeah. So I will say to lower. So I'll put all the characters to lower, or I will put uh, all the characters to upper, yeah, to upper, okay. But uh, if we put both to lower, we can compare the um, uh, the lower version of the characters. But still, you see that our difference in the message it's the same. So how we uh, solve this problem? You can see here that I have space spaces before and the end of the string. So to eliminate the uh, this. Um, um, unknown characters or the characters that I don't want, I will use the trim function. So I will go here and say trim. Trim function will remove the, the spaces from the beginning or the end of the string. You can say that I want to, to trim only the, the start of the string or only the end of the string. Okay, good. But let's say that, uh, uh, so I will put uh, trim trim, string one, we can put, I can put trim here. So if I put it like this and if I run like this, the string will be uh, the same, yeah? So we'll have the, because the message is the same, it's test your path, yeah? But uh, this is the difference between the strings. You see, same text. Okay, perfect. So I put everything to lower and I make the trim. Now, let's say that I here I have a, a garbage character that it's a comma. Let's say that uh, uh, it's, part of the, uh, it's part of the CSV and I take um, uh, this one on the CSV. So how I will filter this one? When I say trim, here I can put on the trim what character I want to trim, yeah? So um, on the trim, you can put array of characters. So let's put, say I say put uh, trim, does, uh, trim as uh, uh, like this, yeah? So I can put uh, uh, trim uh, value. So basically I have the uh, uh, outlook, I have to set as a character like this, yeah? So you see as this is as a character. So when you put um, uh, when you put a data, you have to put it as a, uh, as a character. Good. So basically you'll 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 specify the uh, the character of the string. So in case in my case, this will remove the uh, the comma. So if I have I can I can have an extra comma. This will uh, uh, this will remove the comma and you see that I have the same text. Good. So this is the the correct um, the comparison with um, trim lower uh, lower equals and so on. I can say start with the string. So I can say that if the string is starting with something, it's starting with test. I can say if it's ending with something for PNG, for example, if I want a file and I I want to to see what is the extension of the file, then I can say contains. Let's say that my string inside uh, inside will uh, will contain an end. Yeah, test end UI path. So this will return me a value if the system will call the, the spy string will contain a value. Yeah. Again, this is too lower trim to be having. But let's say that I have a string here, the last case, and let's say that it's extracted. This string it's um, extracted from an um, uh, from a CSV file and it's delimited by comma. Yeah. But uh, I want to test it with. Um, um, uh, with this, basically, I see it, when I see it, for example, on Excel, when I see it on the Excel, it's test space, um, test two, test three, so three different cells. But when are when they are on the CSV, I with comma. So basically, there I'll put a replace, and I will replace the comma with space, and then this will be uh, the correct comparison with string. Think about of cases when you have uh, multiple lines and you have to uh, um, string equals. So you have to extract the environment. Uh, uh, so you have to uh, remove the environment new line, yeah? You say environment, environment, new line, environment, new line, and you remove the new line and you make the comparison and so on. So that, that was the, the idea with the example. As usual, if you like my movies, 
please subscribe to my channels and tell me what else you want to see inside of my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.